Last week, a woman was violently abducted from a Cleveland convenience store. The woman is still missing, and the police released this footage with hopes of finding someone who could help them capture the suspect. The gold Chevy pulls up. The woman gets out of the passenger side of the car and walks into the store. There is a group of women hanging out near the checkout counter when she arrives visibly shaken and tells the store clerk that she has an emergency and has to use the phone to call 911. At this point, the other women leave the area almost as if to give her some space. Eventually, the suspect moves his car and parks right in front of the store as he enters after her. When he arrives, she clearly knows what's going to happen. She actually gives the phone back to the clerk as he grabs her by the arms, drags her to the door, and then picks her up and throws her in the car and then drives off. The woman in this video did a very courageous thing by attempting to get help. Nothing she did was wrong because when it comes to self-defense, there is no right and wrong. There is only survival. Now, this isn't an isolated incident. History tends to repeat itself, and we can't break the pattern until we understand it. Here are the top three lessons I took from this video. Number one, bystander intervention is everything. The women in the store left the area as soon as they saw a woman in despair. If you were in that exact same situation and someone came up desperately asking for a phone to call 911, would you leave or would you offer to help? I'm convinced that if all five women set their minds to it, they could stop one woman from being dragged out of the store. Something to think about. Number two, in an abduction situation, victory doesn't necessarily mean beating up the assailant like so many martial arts teach. Victory can also mean delaying the abduction as long as possible and drawing as much attention as possible to increase the bystander intervention score so that the suspect aborts the abduction out of fear of someone intervening or law enforcement arriving. Number three, quick thinking is critical. The man let the woman out of his car, presumably to buy something for him in the store. And just think of how effectively she feigned compliance up until that point in order to get this opportunity. And then she used the opportunity to try to get help. The fact that it didn't pan out doesn't mean her strategy wasn't extremely intelligent, courageous, and commendable. Bottom line, it's never a woman's responsibility to prevent an attack. It's man's responsibility not to attack. That being said, the world is full of very evil people, and we definitely encourage everyone to invest in their personal safety. If you live in Southern California, we're actually hosting a free women's self-defense seminar this Sunday, January 22nd at 11 a.m. to address these exact situations that took place in this incident. Everyone is invited. You simply need to save your spot in advance since the mat space is limited. Seeing how courageous this woman is, I am very confident that the perpetrator will get caught and she will be brought back to safety, but law enforcement needs our help. If you have any information, you're encouraged to contact Cleveland Police Department at the number on the screen, and if you don't, please pass this video along so that it may reach someone who does. Thanks for watching and stay safe.